<clears throat> oh, right, I go first. Right, yeah, you're one. Yeah. Melissa sits in the back of the classroom, afraid to speak up. She pulls awkwardly at her extra loose khaki cargo pants. She doesn't want the boys to notice her. James finds himself in the back of the classroom. His baseball cap casts a shadow on his pimple, pimple paint, faint forehead. A wide shirt hangs on his broad shoulders, but no one ever notices him. Melissa! Melissa. The teachers ask. <laughs> <laughs> And she says nothing because she is not there. And Melissa has never been there because Melissa is just some abstract jumble of syllables that doesn't fit her position. She is not what she seems. She doesn't want to explain to her mother for the 232nd time why she doesn't want to wear a dress to prom, doesn't paint her face because her whole body is painted on. Mm -hmm. Melissa! Melissa! Melissa. Melissa. James is a one-time fixture where he comes from. Because without exception of Melissa, he has been doomed, sorry, deemed an abstract reality by everyone. And all he ever wishes for is get to wear a tuxedo to prom. And Melissa has been tugging at breasts that have only been growing for three years now, and using duct tape to press them down and mold them more and more into pecs. She just wishes that people would understand that at birth her genitals didn't know which way to grow. Man or guy couldn't relate a message to her hormones that they should produce more testosterone. The only person who understands, understands her is James. James. Since the, the age of four or five when girls notice boys. And boys notice girls. See, James's family wanted daughters instead of sons and Melissa was always like the male beetle that everyone called a ladybug Melissa Melissa, Melissa. where is, where is she? she sometimes, sometimes she wishes she, she could rip the skin off, off her back every, every moment every day she's she has been wearing the flesh of a stranger, stranger. Melissa, Melissa as she stands wanting to say I'm, I'm here and I've been here since I was born so, so quit asking me if I'm him or her, her because, because when you combine the two pronouns you get H-I-R here and a God, God combined, combined the two, two genders, genders to put me in this body, body transgendered. I'm here. So quit, quit talking about, about me like I'm not here. here. James falls back into Melissa's skin. And the two comfort each other. And their, their single painted heartbeats. heartbeats. Waiting for the day when they can scrape off this genetic makeup when the teacher asks for James. And then he can finally say, I'm here. I'm here.